Welcome back guys, this time I created a video for Artlist Sound Effects Challenge and of course I will show you behind the scenes of that project. You will see all the home stuff, camera settings, the lighting, editing and sound design. So let's get started. For shooting this video I was using a mirror to get the reflection of the background that was only a white paper located on the chairs. For all the rotating shots I used a spinner and the fruits were attached on toothpick and plasticine and for masking background I used my laptop. To make the can look wet I used perfume bottle with water and a dropper to create single drops. While working with fruits I cut them on pieces and put in the food box. Strawberry was actually falling into milk, but for this shot I used cream and put it on the can using opposite side of the spoon. And now let me show you my camera settings. Resolution 4K to crop image in post, 50 frames per second to slow down or speed up the footage, aperture starting from 1.7 to 6.3, shutter speed 100, ISO 200, white balance 5000 kelvins, color profile CNET. And now let's talk about the lighting. For shooting this video I was using only two LED lamps. To create shining background I set a piece of paper in front of the lamp while the second one was lighting straight on the product. To get the whole can lighted I set another paper on the side to reflect the light from the main lamp. And sometimes I was just holding the lamp in my hands on the top because in this way the drops are more visible than lighting straight. And now let me show you some editing. All the scenes with floating fruits were created with masking. So I need to draw the masks on each of them and with chroma key choose the color of the background as invisible. Then match the size and add all the moves with keyframes. Here's an example. If you want your object to be floating, open pan crop window and at the first keyframe set the start position of the object. Then move the cursor at the end and one more time change the size and add some rotation. And our final tip, sound design. If you want to improve your videos to the next level, use sound effects. And don't be afraid to experiment with random sounds. When I first heard the sound effects from the free Artlist package, I didn't know from where to start. But suddenly so many ideas came to my mind like Hey, why not to use horn when melon is driving through the screen? Or spaceship when strawberries are floating? And believe me, in every single sound I wanted more and more and more. So let me show you the video with all the sound effects. Okay guys, I hope you learned something from this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.